Hello, so today I decided to try and bring Gundam out of his shell. Um, so we're I do going, not have a shell. So we're going to fill out like a dating site's little category of what you would prefer in a person so that maybe um, Gundam will learn who he likes or who he would like to hang out with, stuff like that. So it starts off easy with um, what the preferred age of someone you're dating would be. I think I would like somebody who's the same age as me. I would also like someone the same age as myself. Is there a reason? If they are older than me, they will not belong in the Tenonaka Empire. Oh, right. If they're younger than me, that's illegal. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the next one's a bit superficial, I think, but it's, um, the appearance of a person who you're interested in. That's a little bit important. Yeah, so I think, um, mm. but, um, I'm just gonna type. So, long, long blonde, blonde hair, hair light, light eyes, eyes smaller, smaller than me, me, graceful, from a prominent family, and sensitive. Yeah. So the next one is interests. So I'm reading this as stuff you would want the person to be interested in so you guys could have something in common. So I say things that are easy to photograph are what I would want someone to be interested in so that I could get pretty photos of them. I would let, they would need to like animals to begin with. Their interest could have the occult, uh, gods, education, and ruling. For if they are to be my friend, or perhaps my co-ruler in the Tanaka Empire, they must be interested in doing such things. What's up with you and your empire? I will create a new empire for this world. The opposite of interest is what you would want the other person to dislike. Personally, I don't think I care. Um, I don't mind. I would mind if they hurt other people or if they'll enjoy hurting animals. Oh, you're right. I'll add dislike violence. Violence is not the answer. Physical violence is never the answer. Well, sometimes it is. Sometimes people do deserve it. Uh... But it should be one of the last options. But it should remain an option in case it's not. But I'd very much do not like to hurt others. Yeah. I'll take care of that. The next thing is um, to describe our perfect first date. Tanaka, you go first. Okay. Well, for my first date, I'd like it to be in front. No, 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 no. That's not right. I've got it, so I know exactly what kind of first date would be perfect for the two of us. It would start with me picking them up at their house like a true gentleman. From there, we would go on a nice long walk through nature. I would teach them all about the animals I see, and if I can, I'd also teach them about the plant life. As it comes to the middle of the day, I will pull out a picnic basket that I have brought food, of which I've had someone else make, as if I made it, they might die. From there, we'd begin to eat the food, and it would be good, and they'd really like it. Then, we'd sit there talking, just talking, to each other, about each other. It's sweet. Yeah, whatever. Aw, Gundam. <laughs> I would say my perfect first date would just be anything that's fun. I don't mind if it's at, um... If we're skating, if it's at a theme park, if, if we're having a picnic, I don't mind. As long as we have fun. The next one is, do you want kids? Hmm? I would want children, but I cannot have those. Aww. I would bring something truly cursed into this world if I had children. I think I want to adopt children. Adopting sounds nice. Yeah, adopting. What about marriage? Would you be interested in marriage? I don't see why not. If we truly loved each other, if that is possible, marriage would be a step in the relationship. <gasps> so I would be fine with that. I think in regards to marriage, I don't mind either way. Um, 
don't think marriage has um, value outside of religion. Maybe for tax benefits. I don't know. There will be no taxation in the Tanaka Empire. Alright. <laughs> I, I don't mind. Whatever the other person, um, whatever they decide. We'll talk about it. Oh, the next one's going to be very easy for you to answer, Gundam. Do you oh. want pets? Yes. In fact, it's required. If they don't want pets, we can't be together mm -hmm. at all. Um, we can't be friends either. I cannot be friends with someone who would ever not like a pet or hate animals of any kind. I could not be friends with them. Um, I like animals, but they'd have to be like a small, like a hamster. The Dark or, Davis. Yeah, like a hamster or uh, maybe a bird, but not like a cat or dog, you know? I don't know. All right. I enjoy all animals. I forgot. <laughs> Last question. What's your dream house like? Okay. My dream house is not really a house. It's more of a castle. A castle in which we were two would reside as rulers of this country. It will be well decked out and decorated as we wish. It will have tons of rooms and tons of fancy type of furniture. It won't look... It won't look bland. It will definitely look very eccentric, as that is something that I wish to see. It should also look very traditional and very Victorian of style, is what I'm looking for. I think my dream house is um, sort of like a traditional Japanese house, sliding doors, uh, mats, you know? That's... and we would, it would be big and we would have a garden with cherry blossoms. And we could take photos with cherry blossoms. Yeah. We see who we matched up with. Oh, I didn't tell you, but I had all of our classmates do the same questions so I can see who we both matched with the most. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. Hmm? They have to dislike mechanics. Dislike mechanics? Anything. Anything. Mechanical. <laughs> mm-hmm. I have to get somebody away from that list. Alright, okay. <laughs> Alright, here's who you matched with. Who is it? It's Miss Sonia, never mind. Right. The Dark Queen. I matched with Yoko. The child? She's our age. She's just smaller. Okay. She's kind of mean. Everybody. That's just her way of coping, I think. I think she's got something. She's hiding. That's what I think. I don't think it's nice to hurt people. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope that helped you. I like talking to Sonia. I think we are friends. That's nice. I didn't know that. She helps me take care of the Dark Davis sometimes. And I talk about her country with her sometimes. She's thinking about changing one of the laws so that there's a tradition where they take an animal and they hold it above their head and they spin it around. And oh, no. She's thinking about getting that changed. That's nice. And I've also asked her for help with um, saving the rainforests and many natural, natural habitats for animals. And she's taken a kin to my conversations. It's very nice to talk with her. Mm -hmm. It seems like you like Sonia a lot. I think she's one of the few people, the few mortals, that I can call a friend. That's nice. I'm glad this brought this to light. <laughs> What's her Yoko like? What do you see in her? Yoko? She's, um, lost. She has a lot of emotions that she's trapped inside, and she doesn't let it out. And when people try to get close to her, her only response is to be mean and, and curse them out, and then she'll cry about it later. At least she feels remorse. Mm hmm Anytime she feels any emotion, her response is always anger, even when it's not what she wants to say. I think she should get help for that. Mm hmm Me too. There is a thing called therapy. Mm hmm I have been to it, and it does help you. Mm hmm If you respond to it properly. It is good. All right, Gundam. Do you want to go talk to Sonia? I want. 
I don't wish to bother her. Oh, right. Forgot. What if she's very, what if she's doing something important? Okay, well. Okay, well, well, let's go see if she's doing something, and then if she's not, then we'll talk to her. If she's not busy, I will talk to her. Yes. If she is busy, we will leave her alone. All right. And then we'll find that mechanic and make sure he leaves her alone, too. All right. The pink-headed one. <laughs> yeah, Kazuichi. He annoys her, and he frustrates me. Hi. Hola. Welcome mm -hmm. to the afterward. Actually, for me, it's a serious topic. I think it's also serious for you. I'm vibing. You vibe. Okay, it's serious for me. Um, mostly in the comments we normally just respond when, um, or we just delete it. But there have been people who have been like, Oh, so cute, Angel and Skip. I see them. And we're like, we're actually brother and sister. So, um, I think we've made this before. Now mm -hmm. we have to make this known again. Oh. I was taking a selfie. <laughs> uh, please do not, okay, don't even ship real people. That's not okay. And don't ship siblings, because that's also not okay. Yes. None of that is okay. We and my last tid point. Um, a lot of our videos that we post out are actually recorded months before they get posted. They all are. So, during this quarantine, we have posted videos where there like, are other people with us, but that was recorded months before. Be months before. Every single video we've ever posted, it's always been recorded months before, even before quarantine. We always record them before. The only one that was an exception, or our exceptions, are when the afterward is something that's like... Relevant to the time. Rel re like, relevant, which is why the Totodeku baking video, that was released the week after we recorded it, because the afterward had to do with... Um, COVID. COVID and stuff, so that's why that one... Yeah. But most of them are recorded we at least a month in advance. We practice social distancing, we practice the masks, we do all of that. Um, is just the little tidbit I'm putting in here because we also get comments about that, about mm -hmm. how we should be social distancing. We are, we are social distancing. That's why you'll see a lot of videos with just us two because mm -hmm. we're siblings, we live in the same house. Um, those are gonna come out. They sort of are coming out. All the videos that I have on my little computer right now, it's just us. Yeah, it, it's just us. There's no one else anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else, just us. That's social distancing for you. We're still doing the social distancing stuff even though our state has lifted. Yeah. We're waiting until after the second wave. Hopefully. We do have one video, which is a Kiribaku CMV, which will be coming out in the next few weeks. That was pre-recorded, and you'll know it's pre-recorded because we are in public. We're in public. <laughs> <laughs> and we're running around doing stuff. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.